Paul and Muhammad both told their followers about Jesus, but only one of them was a contemporary of Jesus. Can you guess who it was? The Apostle Paul was a contemporary of Jesus, and he spent much of his time in first century Israel. This put Paul in a perfect position to gain accurate historical information about Jesus. If you want reliable information about a person, it's pretty helpful being a member of the person's own generation. And Paul was right there. Muhammad was born more than half a millennium after Jesus' death in a completely different country. Since he couldn't read, apart from divine revelation, his knowledge of Jesus was limited to whatever stories were popular in 7th century Arabia. This is why, when we read the Quran, we find so many stories about Jesus that are known to be forgeries, Mary giving birth under a palm tree, Jesus preaching when he was still a baby, Jesus giving life to clay birds. We know where these stories come from, and they don't come from the first century. Now, don't get me wrong, the Quran is an excellent history book if you're looking for a history of 2nd through 7th century Middle Eastern forgeries. But if you're looking for historical information about Jesus, the Quran is a few conspiracy theories shy of the Da Vinci Code. Hi everyone, thanks for watching. In case you stumbled upon this video while browsing or searching, I wanted to let you know that it's part of a series comparing Paul and Muhammad. So if you'd like to see the full series, be sure to click on the playlist. If you're already in the playlist, you're about to see how Islam's silly theory of language comes back to haunt Muslims.